Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to Novgo Bear. Novgo Bear. Still waiting on that colony to finish. It takes forever because we do not have the exploration idea group. I mean, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, last episode, we took Krakow from Poland. And we also took one, two, three, four, five, six provinces from Lithuania. They have since rejoin the coalition, so I'm hoping they will leave the coalition. I don't think improving relations is really going to do anything with Lithuania, but we'll try it with Poland, uh, see how it goes. It, it may or may not work. It probably won't work. In any case, the plan with Polotsk, our new vassal, is to sell them all of the Belarusian Catholic lands, which is uh, Grodno, Brest, Pinsk, and Tarov. So we're going to sell him all of those. He can core them for us, just like Ukraine cored all of the Ruthenian stuff for us. Uh, that way we don't spend double points. We spent zero points annexing the land. When you get claims now, the way it works is taking claimed land no longer costs, I think it used to cost 18 points. Before that, it cost 25 points, whatever. There was this cost balance that they were trying to figure out for uh, the diplomatic points for taking land. Now, if you have claims, it costs zero points to take land. So we had claims on all six of those provinces. One, two, yeah, six provinces. We had claims on all of them, so when we took them, zero diplo points. However, you can see we are not coring them. We are selling them to our vassal. And when we annex our vassal, we'll spend our diplomatic points then. 15 diplomatic points for every base tax. So it adds up, but I still think it's it's a decent solution. And Krakow, we are not planning to annex, we're not planning to core Krakow because it would cost 315 points. That's a little prohibitive. Instead, we are going to wait for another war with Poland to crop up. I assume there will be another war with Poland. Uh, we can always warn him. I think we'll have to warn him again. I don't know if we can warn him while we have a truce. Probably not. In any case, we'll go to war with Poland again somehow. And when that war happens we'll be able to annex and release poland well i'm not sure if we'll annex and release we might just straight up vassalize him yeah we'll probably just straight up vassalize him and lithuania as well all right um where are your cores lithuania yeah if we annex and release lithuania it's going to be a whole lot of land and i don't want that how long are your cores here for 50 years wow Never mind. Yeah, we're definitely not going to annex and release Poland or Lithuania because we've already spent a lot of points coring their shit. I'm not going to double spend on that stuff. And that's that's really something that bothers me is when you annex and release, you shouldn't you should be able to determine which lands a vassal gets when you release them. They shouldn't just automatically get whatever cores they have. You should be able to shape and mold M O U L D whatever vassals you want. Uh, the way France did, revolutionary France when they were conquering Europe and stuff like that, they were creating just vassals out of thin air. They're like, well, this sort of region has this sort of shape, and its name shall be this. That's what they did. They did that all over Europe. They created political entities out of thin air. There were no cores there. They simply said, this is what we want as our vassal. This is what it's going to be called. This is how it's going to be administrated, and it's done. And it works. Well, while France was still in power, it worked. And I think that's the sort of model that should be adopted by Paradox here. But they don't... I don't know. I've never seen anyone from the Paradox uh, team say anything at all about uh, the way provinces are handled when you create a vassal. I really wish you could just create whatever vassal you want, like France did. To me, that's that would be ideal. Anyway, enough soapboxing. Let's continue. Wow, that was that was four minutes of soapboxing. My bad. I do kind of pedestal sometimes. Oh, Shun left the coalition against us. Okay. Good times, Shun. Good times. Oh, look. Rebels. Yeah, this is what we're going to have to deal with for a while now. Is just lots and lots of rebels. Very unfortunate. At least we have uh, a decent general. A 4-3 general who can handle this shit. And we did just tech up our military, so we should be all right. See, nope, these same missions. These are the same missions we've had for the past, I don't know, 40 years. I don't like these missions. Wow. So here's something that's stupid. Portuguese peasants are sieging up all this land, but the only nation they can flip any land to is Portugal. So that's exactly what just happened. Grain Coast just flipped from Portuguese peasants to Portugal. 
<laughs> so dumb. Oh, goodness. All right, we're at 1,200 ducats. Can we build anything special? It looks like the answer is no. We do not have the tech for an admiralty. We do not have the tech for an attack assessor. We do not have the tech for a glorious monument or a grain depot, and we're not the right tech. We're not the right um, government for a royal palace. Let's see. We can do any trade companies. Yes, we can for tea, ivory, chinaware, spices, or fur. How much is the fur worth, though? That's the question. How much is the fur? worth. It is worth 2.75. That's probably worth doing. All right, I'll do that. Give me some trade companies. And there goes a whole bunch of our money. How's our inflation? We might want to pay down our inflation because uh, that is affecting our economy. Uh, yeah. Okay, now we're back up to 10 ducats a month. If you're ever in a pinch with your money and you haven't checked your inflation in a while, check your inflation. It does make a big difference on your economy. Yeah, he's never... My vassal's never going to lose his cores over here, which is nice. Uh, however, Persia is just all up in my shit right now, and he's coalitioned me and everything. And VJ, for some reason, is not improving relations with anyone. VJ has no alliances, no relations, no marriages, no nothing. Why do you have no relations, VJ? Get alliances, get marriages, do something. Improve relations with people. He's not doing anything with his diplomats at all. If he were, you could see it here. He's not improving relations with a single damn person. He might be fabricating claims on someone, but... I don't know. Is my vassal coring Minsk yet? Not yet. Um, I think when vassals spawn, they spawn with uh, maybe 100 points in each category, maybe less. So he probably doesn't have enough points to core this. It's a base 8 tax. It's going to take him a while to core it. The good news is we're almost done with the Pensacola colony. Pensacola. And when that finishes, we can go grab Suma, Pima, and all these places. Ah, oh, we can see some more land now. Good. We can see a wasteland, too. So, Taeo. Never heard of it. Build some more government buildings? Yeah, we can do that. Dun, 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 dun. What's available for government buildings? Uh, taxes and revolt risk. Definitely worthwhile. Where do we have the most revolt risk? Well, we're not going to build it anywhere that we just took from Lithuania, but maybe over here. That sounds good. Oh, we're broke. <laughs> we're so broke. But we did get our claim on Lothian. Good. Come on, 75 ducats. Oh, we converted Ulan Cobb. Nice. More conversions. Dun, 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 dun. Solengi, good, good times. Revolt? Damn it, why would you revolt? Why would you revolt? Why would you go and ruin such this good thing that we have here, you know? And where's the other revolt? Sabir, alright. 13. Do I have a general? I do not. Where's my generals? Um, there you are. Onward. Gujarat collapse. But that's the second time they've done that. Did they flip to Catholic or something? They did. Gujarat collapsed and flipped to Catholic. <laughs> wow. That is hilarious. Wow. Hmm. I 
I'm tempted just to go vassalize him, but I don't know. We'll see. Certainly should get relations up. The nice thing about having somebody who's Catholic in India is he can convert all of the Sunni provinces. Like, if we sell a bunch of stuff to Punjab and he converts it to Orthodox, then we can also sell a bunch of stuff to Gujarat and he can convert uh, stuff to Catholic, which is fine. We tolerate Catholic just fine. A new flagship. 50 ducats for a Carrick or 10 ducats for... For, wow, you cannot choose to not build one. I don't want one. I'll take a war galley. I don't need one. I have max prestige anyway. It seems like just a waste of money, but okay. Uh, we have a new ship. Go us. I mean, I'm not going to turn down a galley, but still. There we go. New building. Uh, building. Let's bingo. And a revolt on our face. And they have more units than we do. And we are losing a lot of soldiers. Oh my god. Oh my god! Holy shit, this is bad. Actually, it looks like we're going to win without any backup, but... Wow, we lost... 13,000 troops. Yeah, let's just go stand in Krakow. That seems like the prudent thing to do. How goes that coring? No, he's not coring it. Damn it. Core that shit, Polosk. I have more stuff to sell you, but you gotta you gotta core the first province. Alright, give me a diplo. Yeah, I see you, Alvar. Thanks. Alvar went and tested the whole, will you lose your vassals when the emperor revokes the privilege? And his answer is yes. He just tested it. So we're probably just going to have to annex those guys, which sucks because that's going to give us a border with France. And not only is that going to give us a border with France, um, it's also going to give us more border friction with France. But we'll see how it, we'll see how it goes. Alright, relations have hit a good point with Karakoin, though. We really like him, and he's starting to like us as well. Uh, it's going to be a while before we can actually annex him, but let's get, we'll just keep getting relations up for now. Another revolt. Good times. Yeah, we're going to have revolts for a while. Should check and see if there's an advisor available for lower revolt risk. There is not. Damn it. Why is there never an advisor for revolt risk? I don't know. I'm tempted just to kick this guy. Yeah, I'm going to kick this guy. Alright, dude. Do your work. We don't really have the economy to support level 2 advisors. We'll probably get 3 level 1s. Yeah, the Ottomans, I think it's a new event uh, to rename the provinces. Not rename. The, the, it's not an event to rename them. But I think they get an event to culture convert them all to Turkish. Just like when they conquer Constantinople, they get a, a free core and they get uh, free conversion to Turkish Sunni. It's really powerful when you take Constantinople. It's just amazing what you get. 17 base tax now. Wow. And of course, it still gets its double bonus as an important center trade and the sound toll. So good for them for that, but I think this stuff up here for the Turkish culture, I think it's automatic. I don't think they actually culture converted it on their own. Because they're not they're not doing it for the other provinces. They're not doing it for the Serbian provinces. They're not doing it Oh, that's not true. They did convert Lika to Turkish. Look at that. They converted the Croatian province to Turkish. Interesting. Okay, so I guess maybe they just don't want to do Turkey. Maybe they don't want to do the Serbian one or the Austrian one. They have a lot of Austrian and Serbian lands, and they're not accepted. Serbian and Austrian are not accepted cultures. Hmm. No, the names are dynamic provinces, but the culture does not automatically convert from dynamic provinces. It, it's got to be a new thing, a new-ish. New-ish. Yes, hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is in your time zone. For me, it's 9 a.m., so I'm on my second cup of coffee. 
and rebels. Whatever. Cheaper stability, I'll take that. So one of the weird things is when you're overextended, you actually get less money. You get less income, which really, 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 really sucks. Trade power abroad, negative 76%. Wow. And of course, stability costs more. We're not bumping our stability anyway. Croatia is independent from, from Hungary. Okay. And they do have cores, but probably not worth our effort. Wow, there's people in the same state as me. That's that's amazing. Not really. There's, I don't know, there's a lot of people in California. You are probably not alone. Uh, do we want anything here? Maybe. 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 Well, yeah, might as well. We'll wait until January in case it goes down a little bit. Every year there's a chance it'll go down by 2% in cost. So we'll wait until January. Yeah, there's more, than, there's more people in California than there are in Canada. Think about that for a minute there. Uh-oh. My coffee pot is dying. It is sounding its death toll. Damn, France is two techs ahead of us. Yeah, we're having a tough time keeping up with the rest of the world on tech right now, and that's not good. Uh, but there's no level one advisors. I would love a level one advisor. I would also love to be able to keep our uh, Posadnik for more than one term. This guy's young. I think I'm going to keep him, but... We're only at 63 tradition. We really need some higher tradition somehow. Yep, we're going to keep him. There goes our tradition. But now he's a 522 instead of a 411. And uh, he's young, right? He's 35, and he just served a, a five-year term. So he's been here since he was 30. So we'll try to keep him for a while. Penza, Penza, Penza. Kill him. Okay, more conversions. Let's go to Saigon. I said Saigon. There you go. Really wish there was a level 1 guy there. Yeah, there's on the only choices I have for Diplo and Military are level 2s or level 3s. That sucks, because I don't want level 2s or level 3s, because I can't afford them. And Portugal's rebelling provinces keep flipping to Portugal. All these rebels, they just keep flipping land to Portugal from Portugal, because that makes sense. All right, 958 people here. We're almost done. Oh, look, rebels in Kurdistan. Great. I love rebels. I live for rebels. I can't imagine a more fun thing to do than sit around and kill rebels all day. Welcome to Rebel Simulator 2014. Do I take trips to Lake Tahoe? Uh, I haven't been there in... I think 12 years ago was the last time I went to Lake Tahoe. It's been a while. It's a nice place. But it has become very... Should I say commercialized? Hmm... There's a whole lot more casinos and stuff than there used to be. Alright, how goes the relationship with Poland? We've been there for a y two years now. And it's getting a little better, but it's still pretty bad. If he would stop wanting our provinces, then we'd be fine. But, see, the, the want our provinces, he wants his old cores back. Okay, Pensacola is done. That means we have a new... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's going to be... Um, that is going to be a colonial nation. So we're going to have a colonial nation over here. Great. 
and send our colonist up to Kaka kind of los. No, I think we'll go for a new colony. Probably on the coast. Or maybe I should get Suma. Yeah, I go to Suma. Russian La Plata. Yeah, we need a name for Russian La Plata. So please, everyone, please give me a name for Russian La Plata. Uh, you have until this pop-up goes away to decide. Ceremony disrupted, lose 33 prestige. Well, that's a terrible event. I love all these bad events, man. They're, they're just great. I live for bad events. I can't think of a more fun thing to do than have bad events. Especially when there's a lot of them. Navgo Plata. <laughs> New Siberia. <laughs> oh, goodness. New shoes, new Putin grad. South Russia? What? Gulagville? What? Holy shit. Novaya Bear, Russian Lavodka. Aberica? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Aberica. Aberica, Aberica, blah, 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 blah. Beautiful. I can get, I can get to like that. All right, onward. Let's lose that 33 prestige, because who the fuck needs prestige anyway? And are you coring this yet? No, he is still not coring this province. Hurry up, Palatsk. A lot rides on you coring this province. I need you to core this. This is a lazy motherfucker over here. This blue guy? This blue guy? Never trust the blue guy. Although, he, here we are trusting France, but still. I would recommend you don't normally trust the blue guy. Okay, rebels are toast. America, fuck yeah. <laughs> Burica. Burica. Instead of America. That's 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 pretty good there. I like it. Um, do we want to make him a general? Probably not. I think I'll steal you. And we're gonna go kill these motherfuckers with you. You win, you win. What did you win? Comcrad. What the fuck is Comcrad? Is that like Comcast? Is that a like Russian Comcast? Comcrad. Oh, why can't there be a level one advisor? Kill them. Kill them all. Actually, it says they're going to flip to my vassal, but they're not. I wonder who they would flip to. You know what? I'm going to let them win. I I'm really curious to see who these yellow Russian patriots will flip to. It says they will flip to my vassal, but since 1.6, I've never seen a province flip to a vassal. That was supposedly something that they changed in 1.5, I want to say. I think it was 1.5 where they made it so provinces are less likely to flip to vassals. For instance, having Denmark as a vassal and getting Danish rebels in Halland, Skane, and Blakingi. The Patriot rebels did not flip land to Denmark. No, no, no. They flipped land to Sweden, even though they were Danish Patriot rebels, because Denmark was a vassal at the time, and they preferred to not flip to a vassal. Uh, that made sense. That I mean, it sort of made sense. In this case, there is no one in the Belarusian group other than Russia. So if he doesn't flip to Polotsk, he's going to flip to me. There's no other choice. So I'm just going to let him do whatever. I'm curious to see what happens. 
Oh, shit, Rebels. Go away, Rebels. No one likes you. That goat doesn't love you. Rebels! Rebels! The reason I'm going to let the Rebels win over here is because if they do actually flip land to Palatsk, Palatsk will get free cores on them. Which is amazing! Palatsk is refusing to core Minsk because it's such a high base tax. He needs a lot of points to core it. It's a Lithuanian core, so it costs an extra extra 100%. And by the way, Paradox, local nobility is absolute bullshit. It should not be extra 100%. That is bullcrap. It costs way too much. Anywho, uh, it's going to cost him double what the 8 base tax would normally cost him. So he needs to save up a whole ass load of admin points to core that. That's why he hasn't started yet. But if these rebels go crisscross a whole bunch of my land and flip it to him, he'll get free cores on it, which is great. Then, then he wouldn't have to wait for him on this shit. Could I learn to love a goat? Uh, maybe in Goat Simulator. Yep, good morning, Ordco. Foundry dispute on. Joe, sure, why not? And let's keep building some of these courthouses. Where do we have revolt risk? Well, everywhere. Everywhere is the proper answer. Let's build them in Siberia. Wait, what's the uh, culture here? Siberian culture, which is never going to be accepted. Ah, <sighs> should I even bother? If it's Siberian culture. Maybe not. Oh, we don't even have a temple there? Wow, why do we not have temples? Holy shit, we need temples everywhere. How do we not have temples? Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. I have somehow managed to not build temples. Go me. What is the number of this episode? This should be 74. So this this should put a Polotskian core down in Grodno. Which is great. Because then I can sell it to him right away. Even if the rebels fail, as long as they have a core in Grodno, I can sell it to him right now. That's fantastic. These are Polish patriots. Well, I will kill them. But to kill them, I have... No, I can go I can go walk around. Um, hmm. Alright, give me that general. And I think we'll use this army, yeah. So keep the general. And run your ass up here to Conus, and then down there. Come on now, put down that Palatskian core. Uh, lose authority, gain prestige. Sure. We have tons of authority, so that's fine. Rebels! Alright, love me some rebels. Uh, split in half and kill them, and then come back. We won't need the whole army for that stack. These East Asian guys, they don't fight too good. They don't fight too good. Come on, put down that Palatskian core. I know you want to. I want you to. Portugal has flipped to an absolute monarchy. Good for them. All right, they have successfully sieged Grodno. Did that give them a core? It did not. Okay, so only if it flips, then they'll get the core. Hmm. Nationalist rebels put down cores. Patriot rebels apparently do not put down cores. Okay, fair enough. Yep, go ahead and siege more land. That's fine. Enjoy it. I am not going to fight them. Oh, that means I can walk around now. Hmm. 
Oh, look at this. <laughs> See, the Polish Patriots say they want to defect to Poland. The Belarusian Patriots say they want to defect to nobody. They don't want to defect to me because that's already my land. And they don't want to defect to Polotsk because that's a vassal nation. So they're going to defect to nobody. Lovely. Anyway, we're out of time for this episode today. I've been Chen, you've been you. Polotsk is still not coring this, but he'll give it a shot at some point here. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.